Hey guys, I'm back again and today I have for you a book haul because I just realized there was some books that I haven't shown you over the past three and a half months that I've bought here and there and uh, my birthday is coming up next week so there'll probably be more books for birthdays so I figured let me get on here show you these books a couple of them are on the forefront for really soon okay first I'm going to show you the Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan okay this is the vintage books edition now I won this over on the book jazz's channel Jasmine's channel thank you Jasmine so happy that I got this book because unfortunately I haven't read any books by Amy Tan I feel really bad about that but Amy Tan is one of those authors that I haven't gotten a chance to read anything by and I'm kind of happy that I got this edition this beautiful edition will hopefully encourage me to pick up Amy Tan real soon. I was sent by the author for review this book which is called The Years of Zero Coming of Age Under the Khmer Rouge and it is by Sing Tai and Sing Tai wrote me and asked me to review his book. It's a lovely edition. Now I'm going to read a little bit about it so you can this is about his life. It says Sing Tai was born in the Kampong Spu province of Cambodia, the son of a respected physician who taught him to value life, aspire to humility, and seek the good in people. He was 13 when he made his way alone to a refugee camp in Thailand in 1981. His story was featured in Time Magazine's article Children of War and was read by an American family in Amherst, Massachusetts who adopted him a year later. He is currently married with two children and is working in the Lowell, Massachusetts school system. So he wrote me and asked me to review this book and I will be reviewing this one at some point in October. That's when I'm going to pick it up and I will get back to you on how good that is. Okay, next I'm going to show you the three books that I've picked up from the, from the list of Man Booker long list although two of these I think are on the short list so we have first uh, the lives of others uh, and that's by Neil McCurgy okay so that's the first one the next one is the dog by Joseph O'Neill this one is didn't get put on the on the on the short list but the lives of others did and the other one that was also picked for the long uh, for the short list is J um, which is by Howard Jacobson okay and so that's this one okay so those are the other physical ones that I have along with the other one that I showed you which I will hopefully pick up real soon too to rise at a decent hour. I picked up this other book. It's called This Is the Water. Uh, I'm not really sure what this novel, you know, what it's really worth, but I think it's a thriller. It says, in the brightly lit public pool, the killer swims and watches. Amongst the mothers cheering on their swim team daughters is Annie. Watching her two girls race, she's thinking of other things. Her husband's emotional distance, her lost brother, the man, she's drawn to then she learns a terrible secret now her everyday cares and concerns seem meaningless Annie knows she has to act above all she must protect her children compulsively readable this is the water it takes readers on a journey where none could could guess the final outcome okay so yeah this is some sort of thriller and I think I read about this on a blog or something so I figured okay why not I'll pick this up it's by Yannick Murphy I've not heard of Yannick Murphy before, but I'm going to give it a go, you know. I need to read more thrillers because I don't read enough of them. Okay, then I saw this one over on Instagram. It's called Apple and Rain by Sarah Croson. And this is a really pretty book. And I saw this on a publisher's... Yeah, on a publisher's page on Instagram. And I thought I would pick it up. It says, when Apple's mother returns after 11 years away, Apple feels whole again. She will have an answer to her burning question, why did you go? But just like the stormy Christmas Eve when she left her mother's 
Homecoming is bittersweet. It's only when Apple meets someone more lost than she is that she begins to see things as they really are. Okay, so yeah, I thought this would be like a nice little, you know, something, you know, a little just cute little something to read between heavy reads. So yeah, that's that one. And then I picked up Billy by Albert French. I'm really excited to get to this one. Hopefully I'll get to this one really soon. I first saw this on Instagram. I was watching, I was looking at Tia's uh, Instagram page uh, over there. She's Sunflower37, I think it is. And she talked about this book. And then I saw it again on Troy Towell's channel. Check out Troy Towell. He was talking about this one. And the way he was talking about that, it was, he was feeling some kind of way and I was feeling some kind of way listening to him talk about it. So I picked this one up and this is basically about an African American boy who was convicted and executed for killing a white girl in Baines County, Mississippi in 1937. Thing is, the kid was, I think he was 10 years old. So I needed to pick this one up. So I'm hoping to get to this one next month because it really looks like something that we all need to read. Then I picked up A Night in Shanghai. Okay, now this is a beautiful edition. And this is by Nicole Mons. Oh, Moon. I really don't know who she is. Never read anything. Oh, here she is right here never seen her before or anything like that but she wrote the last chinese chef oh oh yeah she wrote lost in translation i have heard of that one and this is i think one of her latest novels and this one kind of yeah i need to get to this one next month it's 1936 classical pianist thomas green is recruited to shanghai to lead a jazz orchestra of fellow african-american expats from being flat, broke, and segregated Baltimore to living in a mansion with servants of his own, he becomes the toast of a city obsessed with music, money, pleasure, and power, even as it ignores the rising winds of war. Song yo is refined and educated and has been bonded uh, since age 18 to Shanghai's most powerful crime boss in payment for her father's gambling debts. Outwardly submissive, she burns with rage and risks her life spying on her master for the Communist Party. Only when Shanghai is shattered by the Japanese invasion to Song and Thomas find their way to each other. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to get to this one next month, okay? I don't know why I haven't gotten to it yet, but that sounds good. All right, next is the newest book that's out by Ian McEwen. It's called The Children Act. And, you know, this sounds like it could be good, you know, but I think Ewan, Ewan McEwan sometimes is a hit or miss kind of author. Like sometimes he really, you know, yeah, his, his books are really good. And then sometimes it's like, oh, come on, you know. So I don't know. I, you know, I read it and I thought, okay, I read the, 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 the blurb and I thought, okay, why not? Yeah, I don't know. So we'll see about this one. And last but not least, last but not least, I picked up the Soki Shange Sassafras Cypress and Indigo. This is an old, a super old version. I picked up in the shop for just a couple of euros because it's in some pathetic condition. Here she is in Soki Shange. And I actually, I read this book over 25, 23 years ago. And I really, really loved it. The problem is I can't remember a damn thing about it. So I'm going to reread it and I managed to fall upon this uh, used edition and so yeah I will be definitely picking this one up before the end of the year. So that's all I have for you today for this book haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me below if there's anything new that you picked up or anything old that you picked up that you think I should pick up because I love getting recommendations from you guys. I'm still reading Sweet Tooth. I'll be back to talk to you about that this weekend. You know, I'm at the beginning. Around page 50, you know. So it's not really picked up to my liking. But, you know, we'll see. Things can change. Let's hope they do. Because I got to read this by Friday night, Saturday morning. So I'll be back soon with a review for you. Bye-bye.